Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this lecture, I will teach you about the decay scheme and how can we draw a decay scheme of the radioactive nucleides. So let's start with the lecture. First of all, you have already learned different modes of decay, namely alpha radiation, positron, negatron, electron capture, and gamma rays. So decay scheme is actually the energy and changes which are associated with a particular type of decay process, which can be described by means of a diagram, like here, it is called the decay scheme. And such schemes are obtained by plotting the energy equivalent of the parent and daughter nuclei on the vertical scale. The line representing the daughter state is conventionally shown to the left of the line representing the parent state. Only if some nucleide has to show a decrease in atomic number. And this is happens in case of the alpha decay and positron or the electron capture decay process. So uh, let's suppose here, that mean uh, actually we want to represent all the decay process in a diagram. So what I have said earlier, if there is a emission of the electron capture, or positron or the alpha rays. So the should be plotted on the, the left side of the parent. Here it is the parent and this is the left side. And why it is plotted on the left side? Because there is the decrease in atomic number in case of the electron capture, positron or the alpha radiation. So on the x-axis, there is the increase in the atomic number. So this is the parent and these are the daughter. So when they uh, disintegrate or when they decay in the form of the electron capture or positron or the alpha radiation, there is the decrease in the atomic number. That's why they are plotted on the left hand side of the parent nuclide. So in case of the negatron emission, where atomic number of the parent increases as a result of the decay, the line leading to the daughter state is placed on the right of the parent. So here it is the, let's suppose it's the negatron, why it is uh, plotted on the right side of the parent, because there is the increase in atomic number. So let's suppose here, if I uh, can say this osmium, uh, atomic number, then it is going to increase radium and then having more atomic number in case of the platinum. So there is an increase in atomic number. So the in the x-axis, there is an increase in atomic number and on the y-axis, there is the, the increase in energy from the bottom to the upper end side. So th this is all about the, the representation of the decay process so and it is called the decay scheme now i will teach you how can we plot a decay scheme if we have the data so let's suppose this is the in, in the case of the uranium uranium uh, 238 is going to uh, emit the alpha radiation and there there are the two alpha radiation one is having the energy 4.13 and other is having the energy of 1.48. So it is the alpha decay, that's why it is shown on the left hand side of the parent. So this is a parent and thorium is the daughter nuclide. So how can we actually uh, represent? First, you have to plot the, the lowest energy of the alpha, which should be the above. And then you have to plot the uh, the second alpha, which is uh, 4.18. And these are the two energy levels of the alpha one and alpha two. 
So just if you take the difference between the 4.18 minus 4.13, it will be equivalent to the, <coughs> sorry, 0 .0, 0 0.05 mega electron volt or 50 kilo electron volt. Actually, uh, uh, you have to divide by 1000 to convert into the mega electron. So the difference between these two alpha radiation is the difference of uh, the energy level from here to here. And that means this gamma ray or the X-ray is going to be exist over here. So this is the decay scheme for the uranium 238. Let's start with another example. And in this, you will actually learn uh, uh, in detail this is the decay scheme of the iodine. Iodine atomic number 53, atomic mass is the 130, and the data is here. So uh, this is the way how can you plot uh, the decay scheme out of, uh, out of the data. So this iodine is emitting negatron, two negatron having energy of 0.5 mega electron volt and another energy of 1.01. .01 mega electron volt. So ju just I'm going to leave this percentage so it, it will uh, make easier for you to plot a decay scheme. And the other, this parent nucleide is going to emit the gamma rays and there are the several gamma rays having different energy. Let's suppose this is a 0 0.41, 0 0.53, 0 0.66, 0 0.741 and 1.15 mega electron gamma rays. So if you have this data, then how can you plot the decay scheme out of this data? So this is the simple, again, uh, uh, the representation in a diagram, which is the decay scheme. So iodine, after emitting the negatron, that means there is the in, uh, emission of the negatron, there is increase in the atomic number. So that's why this daughter is plotted on the right hand side of the parent. So uh, parent is here and the daughter are here. And after emission of the negatron, atomic number is going to increase by one. So atomic number increased from 53 to 54 in case of the xenon. So I'm going to plot the uh, decay scheme out of this data. So again, uh, as you have learned in the previous example, so there are two negatron, one having the energy of 0 0.60 and another is having the energy of 1.01. .01. So in the similar way, you have to plot uh, points, uh, 0 0.60 mega electron volt uh, uh, on the upper side. And then you have to show another line, which is the 1.01 .01 mega electron volt. In a similar way, you can draw uh, as much as the, the energies are given in the data. So this is the first, you have to draw first line, then it is the second line, negatron, second negatron, and then I'm going to adjust all these gamma rays in this decay scheme. How? The first is the, again, you, you should take the difference between these two mega electron volt and it is uh, if you minus from 1.01 uh, .01 minus 0.6 it will be equal to the 0.41 so uh, that means this is the energy of the gamma ray 0.41 it should be exist between these two so actually this is the way how uh, can we move from the lower energy to the higher energy level so it, if I move from here to this, the total energy is 1.01. .01. And if I move from here to here, then the energy will also be the same. That means 1.01 .01 mega electron volt because 0.41 plus 0.61 equal to the 1.01 .01 mega electron volt. Then after this one, I have to uh, plot another gamma ray and this is the 0.74 gamma rays and why I have plotted over here because uh, another gamma ray is 1.15 mega electron volt and this is the sum of the gamma ray of 0.41 and 0.74. When you sum up 0 0.41, 0 0.74, 0 
it will be equal to be 1.15. So that's why I am putting the gamma ray over here. And then another line you have to draw from this to this, representing the energy of 1.15 mega electron volt. So again, if I move from here to this side, the energy will be the same. And if I move from here, here, and then this side, the energy will also be same. And the third way is I can jump from this to this energy level and then to here, the energy level would also be same. So this is the how I'm going to fix the data by using the different uh, radiations. So now the two uh, gamma rays are left having the value of uh, 0.53 and 0.53 and 0.61. This I have already plotted, this I have already plotted, and this I have already plotted. And so these two are left. And simply if all, you can also sum up the other ones and there is uh, no other uh, summation is left. So you just have to draw uh, below the, uh, the energy levels. So I'm going to plot 0.53 here and 0.61 here. So these are the energy levels. So the, after releasing this one, it is going to be converted into the xenon 54, having the atomic mass of 130, and this is called the ground state. So this is the energy scheme of the iodine, 53, 130. So again, you want to check. So this is the one way to calculate the energy. If you, you calculate the energy from here, here, then this, and then to this side, it will be the same. You can calculate at home. And if you move from here, here, and then to move this side, and then move to the right in this one, and the total energy will also be the same. And the third way is you can jump here and then directly jump from this state to the this state energy levels and then move to the towards the the parent iodine 53 the energy will also be same so the if the energy is same in all the way that means you have plotted a good diagram the correct diagram that is the, the decay scheme for the any of the radioactive nuclide. So this is all about the decay scheme and how can you plot the decay scheme. So I am going to give you uh, one of the assignment. So this is the, the decay data of the chlorine 1738. Again, the negatrons are given here. There are the three negatrons. Don't worry about this one. Plot in the similar way that I have already mentioned before. And then you have to adjust the values of the gamma rays just by doing the calculation as I have explained before. So this is all about the decay scheme and how can you plot the decay scheme by using the radioactive data. So thank you for watching and see you in another lecture soon. Thank you so much.